frugal friends. I got to the Dollar Tree today for the first time in what seems like absolutely forever, and boy, did they have some goodies. things I wasn't expecting to find, and then of course the things that I try to get there as often as possible, and when I find them, I stock up like crazy, like lemon juice and zippy bags, things like that. I'll show you all that in just a minute, but here's the ones I'm most excited about. Look at these, guys. You know, or now you know, that we love Legos in this family. That is one of our passions. We you know, scrimp and save on absolutely everything in our lives except for our passions. And our dumpster diving absolutely helps facilitate and finance those passions, one of which is Legos. And it's something we love doing together as a family. But it's expensive, really expensive. So I was thrilled to find these at the Dollar Tree and they are the Top Blocks brand. And we have used a little bit of some Top Blocks before like a board, a bigger board, and actually one of the smaller ones too, I think, and some of the actual Legos. So we're gonna try these out, but the reviews that we do on these will be on Olivia's channel and Reagan's channel, and I will link those in the video description. They don't post very often, but they do post now and again, just different things that they're excited about and their interests and stuff they're up to. So, okay, we'll try those. Then, as if that wasn't enough, Last time that I got the Top Blocks Legos, or just building bricks, whatever we want to call them, at the dollar store, they only had white and yellow. And so I just bought a bunch of the white and we tried those and we, yeah, they were great. This time, however, they had all of their colors. I think the only one I didn't see was green, but I got one of each, the yellow, the red, blue, white, and black. I want to go back and get a bunch of the black, but I splurged on some other Lego things, and so we'll have to wait on that. As if those weren't enough. Yeah, it just keeps going. They also have these little building block sets. I grabbed two. This one says Happy Holiday. Looks like a, you know, like a lounge bar poolside bar type thing. I guess you wouldn't say bar because it's for kids. Uh, <laughs> a, a snack, a snack bar type thing. And then this one is a fire department helicopter. So the kids will try those out on their channels. One more. This one here, it's got a girl and a doctor. And I'm pretty sure that you can switch the hair so that if you wanted to have a girl doctor, you could do that, but we'll try that out on the kids' channels and see if the parts can come apart like regular Legos, if they're interchangeable. If they are, that would be awesome. I don't expect these to be as high quality as Legos. You can tell just from the leg attachment that it's it's not gonna be as durable as Legos, but I'm pretty excited. I mean, a dollar for two, if they're any good at all, we will definitely buy them, more of them. All right, Christmas. If you are familiar with the way that the Dollar Tree does holiday decorations, you'll know that as soon as the stuff comes in, you need to get in there and get it if you wanna get the best stuff. And if there's something you're in love with, then you need to pick it up right when you see it because they only get a certain amount in and it sells through really fast, especially the really cool stuff. So if there are things you're excited about, just grab them right away. And if you're wanting to get Dollar Tree Christmas stuff, go now. Like. Pause this video and go now, seriously. So I wanted more of these last year. They're just little battery packed lights. And I waited, big no-no at the Dollar Tree. And I was only able to get one multicolored pack. Well, this year I did a little bit better and was able to get a variety and I got four packs. So this one is an LED string light and I wish there had been more of these, but this was literally the last one that I could find of the string lights. 
And then this one, this is so fun. It's a bunch of little Santa heads. How cool is that? Adorable. And then this is another of the ones that I got last year. And finally, I got one of the pointy, more traditional looking ones this time as well. So these, yeah, they're just very short strings of lights, battery packed. We like to use them in the American Girl house, but also in our Halloween outdoor displays. The, the possibilities are endless. I wore some on my graduation get up in May. So yeah, awesome, a dollar. But if you want them, you gotta hurry or they will be gone. I'm thinking with these, what we're gonna do as far as like immediately, when we get back from our Thanksgiving vacation, when we get back, we're going to decorate the American Girl House with all of its Christmas decor, get all festive with that. And I think we'll use these in there. I don't know, we'll see, stay tuned for that. Okay, let's look at the rest of our fabulous Dollar Tree haul. So I also stocked up on tons of lemon juice. We use lemon juice in our laundry and in the kids' hair. It just makes everything smell so much better. You can also use it for multiple other cleaning uh, applications. Just Google and you'll find a ton of them. I grabbed a little bit of pick-me-up, a couple of these, what are they, like one liter? Let's see, 1.25 liter Diet Pepsis. There were only two left. Very rarely can you find the Diet there. Often they'll have the regular Pepsi, but not the Diet. So I grabbed several, well, not several, two of those. I did grab several of the lemon juices. I have a whole bunch. I'm not gonna show you all of them. I grabbed, uh, how many did I get? Five of these plastic totes that I'm hoping are gonna be durable enough to hold some of the smaller tools that my husband has, regular household tools and bike tools and implements and gadgets and gizmos. I'm going to be emptying all of the family stuff out of the office and turning the office completely over to my husband to be his whatever man cave or bike cave, what have you. And so we're going to take all of our toys and things, puzzles off of the shelves. I'm going to put these up there and get his tools sorted and organized. Hopefully these will work. We shall see. Have you used these yet? Have they been durable? Have you had any issues? Please tell us in the comments. Also, I did grab tons of bags, the snack size bags and the sandwich size bags. We were completely out of these for quite a while and that was really frustrating. So I just bought tons of them. Something to look for. I don't know if this will be the same way in your store, but they have the bonus packs and so it's the same price. Grab the bonus packs. They're right next to the regular packs. Now, I did not realize this, but I screwed up on one box. So in the snack size, same thing. Well, it's not bonus. They're just different. There's the um, 50 count and there's a 40 count. And I thought I had only grabbed the 50 count, but unfortunately I did get one of the 40. Not a big deal. I got tons and tons of those bags and bags, and we'll get those put away here soon down in the basement in the laundry room is where we store all of these kinds of things. Great deal. Good to have. I buy tons of them. What else did we get? So lots and lots more of the bags, but also another thing that we get regularly at the dollar store is their bacon bits. It's even McCormick brand. They're delicious and it's a dollar. Great way to save some money. Let's see. Oh, this, we have been needing a lingerie bag for some time now. Um, you know, bras and things like that, the hooks get caught and they get ruined and the clasps get ruined. Even if you pull them out of the washer and hang them to dry, yes, I should wash them by hand, but I just don't see that ever realistically happening, not while I'm raising kids. So I did finally get a new bag, and this one actually says that it comes with three, so that makes me a little nervous as to the quality, but I mean, I bought it at the dollar store, so I, I didn't go in there expecting anything top of the line. What I might do is just put all three of the bags together, like stack them inside each other, and try it that way, Just and, and that would give extra protection for the bras and things like that anyway. So we'll see. Have any of you used these mesh laundry bags from the dollar store, Essentials brand? Please tell us about your experience with them in the comments, but I will also do a bit of a review on these at some point. I know we got at least one or two other things. There it is, the last of them. I got some of the Sunbeam brand AAA. We have mountains and loads of all the other size batteries and their Duracell that we got on clearance with coupons. 
like a year ago, I think. But we run out of the triple A so fast. I don't know why. There's just something about triple A. So I grabbed a couple of packs of these, a dollar. Great deal. Great way to get your batteries and myriad other things, guys. Check out your Dollar Tree. There's, I mean, you're going to be surprised. The trick is you need to go often because they change out stuff a lot. If you're not able to go often, then get in there and get as many as you can of that item that you need. All right, that is all I have for our fabulous Dollar Tree little quick haul. Thank you for joining us. Have a fabulous day. Please tell us about your Dollar Tree experiences in the comments.